Listen. If you do not understand white supremacy, what it is, and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. Now, sometimes people say, well, you mean everything that I understand will confuse me if I don't understand racism? Yes, because racism is the dominant political and religious motivating force among the people of the planet in all nine areas of activity. Economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. That covers just about everything that any person, minute by minute, might be doing or engaged in any time of day or night, anywhere on the planet. In everything that we do, in all nine areas of activity. And what are the nine areas of activity? Economics, how you use your time and energy. How do black people, for the most part, use their time and energy when the white supremacists are not making us do something in order to eat and sleep somewhat comfortably? How do we usually use our time and energy when we have what we call a day off, all right, or hours mm -hmm. off, or some minutes to ourselves, as you might say. Just look at what we do. Look at what most black people in the Northwestern Hemisphere do, and I think in many parts of the world, when they have what you call leisure time, time to yourself, time to do uh, a limited number of things that you're allowed to do in the prison yard of the system of white supremacy. What we do is show off to each other. And how do the white supremacists control that? Simply by uh, uh, having our minds set in doing just that. We look forward. All of our days, everything that we do, if we stop and think about it and tell the truth about it, what black people in the Northwestern Hemisphere do, as far back as I can remember, is looking forward to showing off to other black people. We're going to buy something to show off. We're all in the department stores and whatnot. I mean, everything from a fancy department store, I mean, uh, where they have real uh, fancy clothes and jewelry and whatever, and, you know, and what the latest styles are and what not. What are you getting that for? What are you knocking yourself out, you know, making all those payments for? To show off. To show off to whom? Just stand in the mirror all day and look at yourself? No. You want to show off. You want to strut around in front of somebody. Who is this somebody you want to strut around in front of? Tell the truth now. It is other people that look like you because white people are not paying no attention to you at all anyway they don't even want to see you get the heck out of here I'm, you know i don't even want to see you <laughs> you know i mean except when i call you to do some work for me and other than that bye <laughs> and what you got on and what you're driving and all like that means absolutely nothing to me just get out of my sight that's the white supremacist philosophy okay mm -hmm. until i call you to do something for me. Now you can come around, okay? So what does that leave non-white people to do? Strut around, showing off to each other. And if you can't find something to buy to show off, or you can't you know, stand in the middle of the sidewalk, I mean, and show off by jumping up and down and turning flips, all right? Then you do something like what? Young black people spend a lot of time doing what? Riding around shooting guns. Now you might not look at that as showing off, but that's exactly what it is. If you tell the truth, if you will tell the truth to them, and they'll tell the truth to themselves, they're saying, this is mostly what that's about. What is gangs about? Showing off. Showing off to whom? To other people that look like you that is in the other gang. That's it. And you show off by doing what? by shooting guns at them. Hey, there you go. He ain't wearing the colors.
shoot him. And then he shoot back at me. I shoot back at him. But what is it all about? What are you getting out of it? Since every time you fire a bullet, it ain't like somebody's paying you. It ain't like you're going to get a mansion or something. It ain't like you're going to do two or three years of this and then retire somewhere in some chateau in France. So what are you doing it for? Showing off. Dismal, pitiful, showing off. Because everything that black people do that's connected with that little pitiful showing off, our little parties and whatnot, our barbecues, showing off, showing off, showing off, showing off. And when you fall down exhausted from showing off, what have you got in return for your showing off? Absolutely nothing but a cocaine high. When I say cocaine high, even if you're not on drugs, showing off is a drug because there's no return on your investment. None. You just think that it is. And we've got to stop doing it. The code says stop doing anything to show off. Don't show off to nobody because you ain't got no, you ain't qualified to show off. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented and that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons, that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever. 